Welcome back. Senators say there is a mental health crisis among our nation's children. Today, lawmakers heard directly from students who say that problem is only going to get worse unless Congress steps in to provide students with the support they need. Our Washington correspondent Anna Warnicke explains. I'm speaking in public, so you might not suspect that I have severe social anxiety. 17-year-old Brooklyn Williams told senators on Wednesday that just because she looks fine doesn't mean she is. I ate my entire breakfast this morning, but I still have bulimia. And I got out of bed and did my hair, so I do not look depressed. Williams says so many kids like her struggle with mental health issues, but have a hard time getting help. Last year, there was an average of one school counselor for every 450 students. That's nearly double the student to counselor ratio that's recommended. There is a shortage of mental health providers um, in rural areas, in inner cities, in economically depressed communities. Dr. Curtis Wright is the vice president of student affairs at Xavier University in Louisiana. He says colleges are struggling to meet the growing demand of students seeking help on campus. So if you're coming to campus and you need some sort of assistance of support, you're three months into the semester before you can actually get diagnosed to be able to, to begin treatment. Wright told lawmakers that more funding is needed for schools to hire more counselors and to train educators in mental health first aid. There is an urgency here that we need to accomplish. Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy called on his colleagues to step up and pass the Mental Health Reform Reauthorization Act of 2022, which expired in September. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.